yet another PTC camera to add to the Skahoi range. This is the Everett EVP220N. It's a 20 times zoom camera and it has a lot of awesome features that we'll discover in this video. And the most important thing, of course, is the Skahoi controllers support this camera. And as you can see, it's a robotic camera, NDI HX. It supports that and it has a lot of great features for output as well. Of course, we have SDI, there's HDMI to be expected, right? USB 3 and then also RTSP and RTMP streaming. It also has a web interface with a live preview. And uh, if you want to change IP address and stuff like that, is there's an on-screen menu and a remote control. Much of that is standard for PTC cameras. In this video, we'll also explore some of the more um, unique features and how the Skahoi controllers work with it. So um, we are always proud about how our controllers integrate really tightly with the cameras. We um, put a lot of effort into making sure that the individual features are supported on our controllers. We have a little menu of buttons right here that give you instant access to important aspects of your camera. The exposure mode, for instance, currently set to auto. Then we have white balance over here. So there'll be uh, settings for white balance. You can adjust with the encoders. Then you have color settings. We have image related settings. And there are even user buttons down here, U124, where you can place things. How can you do that? All Skahoi controllers, they have a great configuration interface. We call that Unisketch. That is like the operating system of the controllers. And it gives you a web interface where you can point to the individual knobs and buttons and you can define what they do. So you have a lot of flexibility. Still, this configuration is out of the box. So when you buy your PTC Pro and your Everett camera, they go together out of the box. So, of course, we prepared it all for you with that. And then you can tweak to your liking. Now, let's take a look at what we have in the menu. So, in the exposure menu, we have auto exposure mode currently enabled. So, that gives us the picture you're currently seeing. So, apart from the uh, obvious that I can use the joystick to uh, work with the camera, exposure mode will give me uh, various settings. This would be for... Um, uh, those who really uh, need to fine tune the exposure for those that might be uh, filming up against a white background and they need to make sure that the object is not just a black shadow in front of it and so forth. So all yeah, stuff related to exposure. You know if you are the kind of guy who needs this, but you have access to iris. You see how the values on the display are very clearly shown. Uh, and uh, shutter speeds can be set right here. We have gain settings over here. And uh, we find these uh, three parameters are really, uh, you know, well uh, working with the camera. We are actually taking the values out of the camera. So if you had a remote control and you change the values on that one, you would also see them update on the Skahoi controller. Because we always do, um, uh, what do we call that? Like we, uh, if possible, it's not always possible, we always read out settings from the devices we control. And for most pen, um, uh, pen zoom cameras, we can actually do that. So that's also what we're doing right here. And here we uh, chose a little unfortunate shutter speed that would make the whole picture blink. But of course, we can change that like that. Okay, so other exposure mode, shutter speed, priority. So if uh, the shutter speed is um, needs to be a very specific value, then if you set it here, then the rest iris and gain will adjust to it. Uh, accordingly, we can have iris priority and then shutter speed and gain will adjust accordingly and something called bright mode that you find in other cameras as well. Now let's go back to uh, auto exposure right here. If we move on to the white balance menu, you can see similar things. But now since we were in the auto mode, stuff like backlight can also be enabled in case you had that white background that can be some automatic um, compensation for it. And uh, typically if I go to manual mode here, you'll see that backlight is disabled. So once again, the Skahoi controller knows that in the context of manual exposure, backlight is not an option anymore because it's related to the automatic nature of exposure that you find on the first page. Okay, actually, I want to play a little bit with the joystick right now because it's um, they, they made uh, a, a great implementation. I'll, I'll show you why. Um, okay, so right where we are right now, I can pan to the sides, of course, and I can also tilt and move the camera around just like you would expect from a robotic camera. I think the response is pretty neat from this one. But notice what happens when I, I zoom in. So let's see if I can get a shot of this drone up here. Uh, okay. And I don't know if you noticed this, but... Um, a quality of a PTC camera is often that you can you can see that the speed of the pan and tilt will be 
related to the focal length. And now that I zoomed far in, you would be interested in not having your camera just rush to the opposite side of the stage. For instance, if you are in a, a lecture hall or in a church, you want it to, to adapt to the focal length. And that's actually what this camera does all by itself. I love it. This is really a good quality for a PTC camera. Um, we can also focus control that is usually on this knob. Once again, it could be configured, but it's currently in manual focus. So you can see I have a chance to adjust the focus to the exact position that I wanted. So we have zoom on the rotation, pan tilt zoom here. And if I press the button on top, we will typically home the camera, meaning that it's just looking straight forward centered like that. Um, now that we are at the pan tilt stuff, we have um, these buttons for preset recall and they are numbered one to 10. You can page up and down on these buttons to have access to other presets as well. So now we have presets 11 to 20. Now we are one to 10 once again. I would just recall this one. And uh, I, I made that uh, previously to the recording of this video and I played a little bit with the focus. So see that preset number one gives you this shot and preset number two actually adjusts the focus differently. That shows that the presets includes um, the, uh, not only the pan tilt, but also the focus position. Here's another example. I, um, I have this um, crop of the picture and then I recall preset number four, which is slightly different, zoomed out a little bit and you see very quick change. Uh, Everett told us that in the latest firmware, they also have features to adapt the speed by which a preset is recalled. And um, if that's meaningful or not, I don't know. I have yet to see a PTC camera that actually makes a perfect interpolation between one position and a preset. Because what you really would like would probably be to have the camera just over like five seconds or even adjustable speed go to a preset location. And they always tend to go like this, this, zoom, or some combination of that, which is not useful for live TV. But um, we're still waiting for the PTC manufacturer to do this really great. Anyway, presets are super important and usually you have multiple cameras, so you don't have to recall a preset on a live feed, of course. Let's move on and uh, go back to the menu. We can um, uh, maybe get a little better crop than this one. Um, so let's have this. Okay, this is nice. Actually, I want to see if I can uh, turn up the um, exposure a little bit here. So let's go to manual and then um, play a little bit with these uh, settings. So um, like this. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Now let's go to white balance. We have auto mode, we have indoor white balance, we have outdoor white balance, and you can see a slight change in tone. You even see how the camera adapts a little uh, slowly to it, so no hard breaks here. And uh, we have one push white balance here with a trigger function on this one. And then finally, and important for the pros, we have manual white balance where you have red and blue gain on these two buttons, and you can use them to adjust the white balance. Let's see if we can tweak this into position. Um, I am uh, not super skilled in this, but it feels like I went a little bit too far here. Let's see if, uh, if we can hit something uh, for the manual white balance. I'm closing in, I'm closing in. Okay, I definitely need a course on white balance adjustment here. Oh, oh, it's not too bad now. Yes, okay. So as you can see, if you map this, um, or if you are pro, you want to have that kind of control from a manual white balance perspective. And even if you had an RCP, another Skahoy controller, you could connect that to the camera and you can have red and blue gain on the RCP along with the iris joystick and all that stuff. If you're interested, go look for RCP V2 videos from Skahoy and you'll find a lot um, in that range. Color menu, saturation, gamma mode, aperture gain. Uh, we have image settings, digital zoom on off, uh, flip on off, so we can flip the image. Obviously, that can be useful if you hang it upside down and so on. Down here on the user buttons, we have decided to put in PC speed and focus speed adjustment here. And there you have the focus mode, the manual mode, which we have been enjoying in this video so far. Now I'm back on auto mode and you even have a one push uh, focus trigger on that uh, button there. These are like system settings like brightness of the displays and uh, IP address of this controller. And the uh, remaining two buttons are just a, uh, a mirror of the exposure mode. If you didn't notice, we have only one camera, but if you had multiple cameras, this would be your camera selector row. And there you could select camera number two. If I do so, 
my display blanks out because I have no camera number two. I go back to number one. And um, I think if I'm on one of these uh, user buttons here, I'm actually recalling cruise control. So let's end the video looking at what cruise control is. It's actually a very nice little feature that let's say that we are here and I want to have a slow drawback from the stage while changing to a different camera. Notice what I can do. I can start the, the creep zoom out. Okay, I start the creep zoom out. I press this button and then it is going to end the creep zoom out when it ends on this timer. Unfortunately, I started it a little bit too quickly. So maybe we should try to start it once again, but then make it slowly zoom in, okay? Like that. And so it's zooming in over ten, uh, seven seconds. It is doing so, and then it's ending at this point. So obviously I need to have my correct crop together, the framing and all these things. You can do the same with pan and tilt, and maybe that's a better example in this case. But the point is that, let's say that you have some kind of um, case where you could enjoy having a slow pan like this one. I think this looks like a better example to be honest. But there you can see that it's gonna end after seven seconds. This is the ending position. So the point really is that if you have multiple cameras, a single operator, you could, knowing your camera well and the speed by which a pan can be done, you could start a pan across a stage and while the controller is executing that, you would change over to camera two recall a preset and then on your vision mixer you would uh, change to that camera, cut it on program on the live feed while the camera number one is still moving for the time that you have set. You can also combine it with the trigger so it stops moving at the signal of a uh, switch or something else that you can build into the controller. But that's cruise control just like your car on the freeway you can uh, keep it in motion without um, having your foot on the um, accelerator pedal. That was the Everett EVP 220N camera with all these great features and the Skyhoy integration in one of our controllers PTC Pro. Now uh, please subscribe to our channel if you like this video. If you want to see other videos for controllers like PTC Fly, PTC Extreme and all the other options we have, they all work with this camera as well. And uh, so subscribe to our channel if you're interested in being updated on product news and uh, integration news from Skahoy. Thanks for watching.